Hi, Marv here with a bit of a quick thing, or at least I hope it will be. So, the festive season is over for another year, and the new year has been and gone. Calendars and diaries have been changed all over the world, and we now find ourselves in the year 2023. Over the festive season, I listened to a lot of podcasts that were all Christmassy, of which I think I released a Quickfire 5 episode about. I also intended on doing another Quickfire 5 about Christmas episodes, but didn't get around to it because of being busy. And I apologise for that. There are so many fabulous pods about the season, and a basic search in your podcast app will give you so much to choose from. I would suggest crossing the streams, though, if you don't mind the reference there. There are some great pods that are specific to certain platforms. For instance, Sleigh Bells and Mistletoe Kisses is only available on Spotify. And there are other podcasts that are similarly only available on certain platforms. So I know that you could try Apple Music, Amazon Music, where they have podcasts, and also Podbean and Stitcher good pods and all these other places that we know about anyway i will go back to some of these festive shows though at some point as i would love to catch up with them fingers crossed for that to pull the curtain away i've written this on tuesday january the 10th of 2023 and i decided to do something different at work for the monday night shift the night before i decided to spend a fair bit of the shift listening to audio dramas, with one of them having to be the show Desert Skies, of which Darren, from my guest list pod, is a huge fan and has been pushing the show for a long time to me. On the way into work, I listened to episode 13 of On the Night Train, an audio drama from the production team of The Merry Beggars, a Christian drama group who also produced the version of A Christmas Carol that I listened to for the festive season. I'm sure if people followed my Instagram or the blog that I do, uh, Marv's Midlife Meanderings, you would find mention of that during the festive season when I was listening to them. On the Night Train is a well-produced piece about one of the trains that is in a race to reach Sacramento first, with some potential sabotage going on along the way. It's got great voice acting, sound, music and mixing. This was their first episode after some time off during the festive break. Next up was the show Aaron Menke's Twelve Ghost, which is a co-production from Grim and Mild Productions and iHeartRadio. Created by Nicholas Toslovsky, it features a great cast of voice actors, including the superb and legend that is Malcolm McDowell as the innkeeper. Technically, it's an anthology series with the beginning and end as the continuity, where the innkeeper speaks to a different patron who arrives. There's more to it, but that would be going into spoiler territory and I'm not going to do that. After this I listened to a trailer for season one of the based loosely on facts drama series Blood on the Tracks of which season one is about the famed record producer Phil Spector. I'm looking forward to listening to this show because I know that they've got one season about Bob Dylan and they've got a season about Brian Wilson and the Brian Wilson, I think, is season four. The Bob Dylan season was uh, co-written by my friend and former guest, Ben Burrell. Following on from that was the aforementioned Desert Skies. Here, people arrive at a gateway between life and the afterlife. It was a fun listen with the main roles of the attendant and his assistant, who I think is named Marvin, being the ones to help people transition. You'll have to excuse me because it was just one episode. I'll get used to the character names eventually, I'm sure. After the latest episode of Fuzz Martin's fabulous podcast advice show, 
Good Morning Podcasters, I finally got around to the musical In Strange Woods. Now, this is a show that I'm going to have to get used to, and that is probably surprising because I actually love musicals. Heck, I was even very nearly in a production of The Wizard of Oz back in the day, but my nerves got the better of me and I chickened out. The thing is that in this case, the story is told mostly in song, whereas I prefer those sort of musicals that are mainly dialogue with songs thrown in here and there to help the narrative occasionally. The idea of this show is about a boy who has gone missing in the forest and things that happen as a consequence. It is from Atypical Artist, who are the production team behind shows such as The Bright Sessions, Look Up, Mirage Diner and Life with Leo, a company who include the incredibly creative Lauren Shippen and Brigham Snow, among many others. Obviously, with a catalogue of shows like that, the production of In Strange Woods is superb. I actually enjoyed having a run of audio dramas, And I'm very tempted to do this more often because, to pull the curtain away again, I didn't actually take any notes from my blog as such, but instead copy and pasted it in to the blog from the show notes themselves. Something that I do very often, if I'm being honest. And you will know that I've done it when I put quotes around what I've written in there, because that means that it's taken directly from the notes, usually. But... um, It did allow me to just enjoy the shows rather than meticulously note everything. I could just get on without having to keep stopping the shows and take notes. This way I could just let the thing flow and get carried away with it. I feel like it's a disservice to the show, to the other shows that I listen to, but this is supposed to be a short bite-sized piece, looking particularly at the audio dramas. I was already a fan of the shows, including The Bright Sessions, The Icarus Complex, Chronicles of Wild Hollow, Ars Paradoxica, Escape in Denver, and other other audio dramas. Anyway, other shows were listened to, and you can find out more about my podcast listening by looking for Marv's Midlife Meanderings. There are some great pods out there to listen to, and to watch if you are able to. I'm trying to put the word out there for everyone. Anyhow, I now have a date for people's diaries. Season 7 of Pods Like Us starts properly on Sunday the 5th of February with a fantastic chat that I had with author, journalist and podcaster Alan Cozen. Alan is one of the presenters of Things We Said Today alongside Darren DeVivo and Ken Michaels. Until then, I'm going to try and see if I can get some more of these almost journal-style shorter shows to you. What can I say? I'm experimenting. Anyway, Happy New Year, everyone. And that will be the last time that I say that on mic to anybody, because, well, you know, It's the 11th of January now that this is going out. You can find Pods Like Us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok and Patreon. And of course you can email us through podslikeus at gmail.com. There are plenty of episodes in the archive if you've missed any. There's a good variation of guests that I've had on the show from music to film to television to life skills Uh, behind the scenes of podcasting and all sorts of other shows in fact if you're still in the festive mood I'll push that there are a heck of a lot of episodes that are based on Christmas shows Um, from well the last couple of few years for the two and a bit years that we've been going actually I've had quite a few shows that are Christmas based festive based Um, I'm hoping that when the next festive season comes I might be able to find a Hanukkah podcast to be able to speak to or one or two of them and all sorts you know because I want to keep it wide and give lots of people different things to listen to I don't want it to be specifically based on one type of belief or uh, celebration I want it to be for everybody 
but um, anyway so thank you everyone for listening and take care